In this video, we're going to focus on how we can make sure that the fill style here is an icon of an image and it will match the background color here or the bar or the diamond here, as you can see here, matching it with the data set. So let's start to look how to do this. The first thing what we need is our border template, which you can find on chartgs3.com getting started. This specific link here. Once you scroll down or once you're on here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. If you want the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page and of course join the Discord channel. So what we're going to do here first is convert this into a scale or a scatter chart. So we're going to scroll down here, type will be scatter, save, refresh. Now what we have to do is to fix the data set. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to remove all of this. Then enter, enter, and we're going to put in here our new data, x3, y6, comma, and then here, x2, and then we can say here, y3, comma, and then here, x will be 6, and the y will be 1. Save, refresh, there we are. So we have all of these special items here. So what I want to do now is convert this into an image. So to do that, what I have to do here is first load a specific image here with a constant image equals a new image. And this is an image object and I'm going to give it the 30, 30, 30 pixels in width, 30 pixels in height. Then what I'm going to say here, const for image source will be what exactly I have this unique image here, which is basically a transparent image where we'll color the icon here, that diamond icon, let's just say uh, an option here. But of course you could do any kind of shape, but I'll show you exactly how to do this so you have an understanding of it. So now we have this here. So what I want to do is to make sure it loads. So we're going to say here, use point style, which we set on true. And then we're going to say here the point style that we want will be the image. And the image has the name of IMG, which makes it quite straightforward. Save, refresh. There we are. So now as you can see here, it's being clipped off. Let's solve that. Comma, say clip, set on false to make sure that it will be fully visible. But as you can see here, it's still being clipped off because it's just too much outside of the chart area. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say here layout and I'm going to say here padding and then I'm going to say here for the right side I will give it a 20 pixel additional padding or 20 pixel padding compared to whatever it is right now so if I refresh you can see here now this is 20 pixels so the next thing is what I'm going to do is we're going to start to draw these diamond shapes here and this is a very small image sorry about that I didn't thought about it when I was doing it but it's just a challenge for me as well, it's just a fun project. So I'm going to say a comma, and then what I'm going to say here will be the plugins. And then I'm going to say here, image style color, copy this. Then I'm going to say a constant image style color, ID will be identical, and then I'm going to say here, uh, after the data sets has been drawn, after data sets draw we will draw this chart, Rx, and plugin options. What we could even do is, I think we could even use before. And the reason why is, you can see here, this is a background color, or this is a transparent image. So whatever would be behind here, will not overlap these black lines. So we will be just be behind there, like a background. I think that will be more practical. So we're going to say here, before instead of after or else we'll just be on top of the black lines and the black lines will be gone so i don't want that so what i'm going to do here now is constant ctx and the data object will be equal to chart this isn't chart object destructuring then i'm going to say save all variables above and let's start to work so the first thing what we're going to do is basically i want to just get one of these images here to get this i need to get the x and y coordinates and those coordinates we can find by doing console log. I'm going to say chart dot um, get data set meta, and then we're going to say index zero dot data. So if I do this, you will see we will get the access for information of every data point. 
right now I'll just start with index 0 which is x of 185 plus plus and y32 which is probably this one here and then you can see if I hover over it becomes red so I want to make sure there's a visual red border color in this icon or diamond shape so to do this what I'm going to say here index 0 dot x let's copy this say constant x equals this and then constant y we're going to get the y details as well or equal to the y version so then what i want to do here is start to draw the item so i'm going to say ctx.begin path and the reason why is i'm going to create a new shape that's independent of anything else so now once i did this i'm going to say here uh, ctx.fill style for now i'll just grab whatever the border color is here grab this one put it in there there we are later on we'll soft code this but then what we want next is to start working on it and we can say here ctx that line width for now i'll just put it on one and later on we can probably remove this to avoid overlapping of our black lines all right so we have this now and what we want to do is now, I guess we need to zoom in on our image. All right, so I'm going to zoom in as much as possible. Uh, maybe we can do it like that. All right, that's not possible. Maybe if I remove that, there we are. So we are zooming in here. We can see this icon here, the diamond icon. We're going to start drawing in here. So what I'm going to say here, ctx dot move to, which is our starting point. So I already did my homework in advance, but we can play around with a little bit so you can see how I did this. So we know that we get the X and Y corner is somewhere here in the center. So probably we have to move left and right a little bit or more to the right and then down to get to this very top or somewhere in this area. So let's start to say here, here we need the X and Y coordinate. I'll just do it like this first. Then what I say here is a line tool. And what I will do is whatever is the X and Y, I'll say plus 10. And then for the y plus 10 by doing this i will create a line going downwards diagonal because this will move more to the right and this will go 10 pixels down so what we're going to do now is just draw this item so ctx that stroke to draw the line i want to make sure that the line width for now is nice and thick so we can easily spot the item let's save this refresh and there we are so we get uh, interestingly enough we get a um yellow item i guess i got the color that is wrong so let's get the red one here copy this put it in there oh apparently it is that's interesting anyway doesn't really matter i'll have to check later on what is going on oh this is the fill style and this is the stroke so that means that it will not assign what happens then basically this is the last item with the yellow border line that's the yellow dark line so i need to say here stroke style to assign this or else we get the bleeding over of items there we are so there we are and you can see here this one works quite nice but i want to reduce this now to only one pixel all right we're going here i want to move it more down as you can see so what i'm going to do here is let's do, do our starting point well this is 10 we can maybe move it a little bit so what i'm going to do here let's do it four save refresh there we are once we are on four i think we could oh four is this point that doesn't make any sense as well we can maybe do even more here um let's do six just to make sure all right i think now we are on the right point here and this is probably this value here all right so what i need to do is this i want to start at that point let's make this 12 for now save refresh there we are i want to make this plus 10 then we get a straight line if i'm not mistaken and i will just say this will be just seven so we get a point like a pixel i think it's here it's not very hard to see make it eight so we get there we are all right, so we are going to seven would be exactly the right place. So I will say we start at seven. Then what I want to do is I want to go diagonal more to the left and then up. So what I can say here, if I 
want to go to the left maybe i want to go four to four pixel and this needs to go up so i need to reduce the amount to maybe five pixels let's save that refresh there we are i have a hard time seeing it all right as you can see here we're getting close but not really we have still a little bit of white space so what i can do here is maybe say instead of going that i want to go six or maybe i need to have a half pixel i think the six is more than sufficient but this one here is definitely too much so we have here this should be nine let's save that refresh oh and as you can see that is not nine if 10 is too much all right maybe nine and a half all right i think it's just 10 but this number here should be six or six and a half all right i think this can be 6.5 let's see if that there we are so that looks nice what i want to do now is want to grab this go up here so that's the next connecting line we just keep on connecting one line at the other until we create our rectangle or diamond shape so what we do now is now we need to go back here and that's equal to this height here that's six and a half so i can just copy this this here of course now i need to go higher so that means a more lower number if i know that from this to this is four pixels i know that from this to this should be four pixels in difference so that's two pixels let's save that refresh there we are and then, ooh, we are far too much so i guess this should be maybe four pixels let's see if we are that looks better but our angle here is too wide so this should not be uh, six and a half let's do six i feel like this here is too much and that's basically this line here so what i can do is say four and a half let's do four and a half here all right is it four and a half then i'm not really convinced with four and a half so let's do four let's do one more time there we are now we are too much maybe 4.2 and oh, all right we'll just do it on four and a half for now later on we'll just figure it out because i think this is because of the border width later on we have no border width but we have a filler shape yes yeah, so don't worry about that so let's complete this first and afterwards fine tune it so then what I'm going to do is go here to there and let's grab this one but we know the logic is very similar to this so I think we can just grab this but we probably have to check if this is four and a half we went here to six and a half so there's two pixel difference so that would mean from here to here is two pixels that will be here as so two pixels so this should be maybe 8.5 8.5 save refresh oh let's see what's going on all right sorry my bad this is fine this should be 8.5 and maybe this should be 6.5 but we'll see later on all right as you can see here we are maybe too far off i think 8 should be more than sufficient and maybe one pixel more lower so instead of 6 we can say 6.5 that looks maybe quite good so then what i will do is for the final one i'm just going to make it very simple i just say ctx dot close path so i want to just create a closing line here no matter what all right so as you can see here this connecting line later needs to be fixed so for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to say here ctx dot fill i'm going to create a fill shape i'll remove the stroke lines and we're going to say this will be zero and this will be a fill style save that refresh and now what's happening it fills up the item and you can see the borderline has been removed which is like one pixel extra but i'm not satisfied here with this corner here of the diamond so let's move that one i think one more pixel to the left or half pixel so this is the second one this is the bottom that's the one that's the move to the second one is this so maybe if we're going to say here i need to go more to the left so i'm going to just say four let's save that refresh all right that looks slightly better maybe for this i'm going to say 5.5 uh, sorry 6.5 to see if that will match okay that matches decent what if i would say maybe seven and here as well seven to just 
go behind the item now yeah, that looks quite good here up I can f I feel like we could maybe do another pixel lesser or a half pixel let's see there we are then here down we could do maybe uh, seven let's see here oh, all right that is not seven that is six there we are I think that looks really perfect all right anyway I don't want to spend too much time on this anymore it was just more a fun project uh, let's make sure we're going back into our item so what I want to do now now I believe this is good enough I want to loop through this so that every item will get the color that is uh, connected with so what I'm going to do here remember this part here we can do a for each loop so I'm going to say here this dot for each and then for every data point index function our expression there we are I'm going to remove this one here I think the line width is not necessary anymore because we have no more lines we just have the fill style with basically a rectangle background and once I did this I want to make sure this here will get the color from the border how do we get there is basically from data to data sets and then border color the data here we already have prepared for the object destructuring so what I can say here data dot data sets index zero dot border color and we get up here we grab that index number remove this I think that will be fine save refresh uh, all right border color data sets um, let's see here begin path ctx save oh all right what we are not allowed to do this here of course is forbidden because this is our solid code but we have the access to this which is basically the short this data point is the shorthand of this or even from this here then we can just say copy this dot data point just copy all of this now there 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 same here but then the y logic I'm going to copy this this and this save that refresh and now we have the blue the red and the yellow one shown in here this is quite exciting to see all right and that's basically it